In San Francisco, where tonight one restaurant is dealing with yet another blow on top of this whole pandemic thing. As KPI X 5s Betty Yu reports, they've been hit by Dine and Dashers, both in person and virtually. K Elements Barbecue here on Clement Street said that the customers sat near the end of the parklet here so that they could make a quick exit. For restaurants that are struggling to get by, they say every dollar and every meal counts at this time. Security video shows four young diners eating Korean barbecue Sunday night, and then the young women get up and leave. The last man sitting at the table asked the waiter for the check. As soon as he leaves, the diner looks around and then walks away. You can see him run across the intersection and into a waiting parked car on Clement Street. The tab, $150. It was the second day in a row K Elements Barbecue was hit. These are the faces of three young women, some of them smiling as they make a run for it on Saturday. The restaurant's co-owner says they just finished a $100 meal and skipped out on the bill. The Dine Dash is one thing that just drives everybody up the wall. I mean, there's already so much to deal with with the pandemic and having to deal with staffing issues. K Elements Barbecue co-owners Alfred Lee and Tony Lau have struggled to find staff to bring back since they reopened in February. We last spoke to them in January this year when they had been closed for months and hit with repeated vandalism. Especially right now with the food cost has been rising. I mean, the profit margin now is definitely lower than what we had before. So every single one counts right now. They've also been victims of virtual Dine and Dash scammers, customers who order food through delivery apps and claim it never arrived. We have camera footage that the driver picked it up, but then at the end of the day, I don't know where, we don't know where it went. As soon as it leaves the restaurant, we don't know where it goes. So why are we the one who's suffering? SFPD says larceny theft in the Richmond Police District is down 38% this year compared to the same period last year, likely because most businesses have been closed. For something that's only $100, if you can't afford it, just don't come out. The owners believe that most victims don't report these cases to police, but in this case, they did. They want to encourage other business owners to do the same so the problem can be properly documented. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.